get right back into the program. Outlandish are a multi-award winning hip-hop group based in Denmark. The group's members are Issam Bashiri, Vakasari Kadri and Lenny Martinez. Now when you read up on them on the net, the material you find implies that they are devoutly religious to fiercely political. Now it's no wonder what they have been featured in an Amnesty International charity event, have performed in a concert that aided Darfur and well, uh, one of them is with me now, live in our Karachi studio. Good morning and uh, welcome to Breakfast at Dawn. It's great to have you here, Vakas. Great being here, thank you. Um, so, l let me ask you, um, wh what brings you to Pakistan? Are you performing here? Uh, no, not performing. Uh, actually, uh, I visit every year. Uh, my wife is from Karachi. Um, and majority of my family is from Karachi, so we come back every year. Uh, actually, I was in March for a wedding. Uh, so this is my second visit this year. Um, we love to come like on vacations with the kids. Uh, so no, unfortunately, no performances this time around. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I, w I announced on Twitter that uh, I was going to have you on the show. So there was quite a bit of excitement. Okay. And, you know, <laughs> there, there are these girls who are saying, oh, I'm a fan. You have to ask them to sing and oh all of this God. kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So uh, would you say that you are devoutly religious? No, I mean, I guess it's a, it's a, you know, it's one of the, the misconceptions that surrounds us because we come from different parts of the world and yes, two of us are Muslim and one is Catholic and, and some of our songs are slightly uh, spiritual, some might be political, uh, you know, and, and of course people love to put you in boxes. With music, it's really black and white. They, either you're pop or you're rock or you have long hair and just like there's no middle way. And uh, for us, uh, I mean, I don't, I consider myself God-fearing and, and like any other probably person around the world, uh, especially Pakistanis, uh, but not like, uh, we're not a religious band. Right. We're not a Islamic band. We're not a political band or a pop band or all the types of labels people try to put on us. I mean, we just have a passion for music and growing up in the West, uh, we express uh, what we feel and what we see in society and some of it is negative that's what it is with hip-hop uh, it's it's not just positive or negative it's a mixture it's about life you know so if I see something that's happening in Palestine and it, it touches me I'll write a song about it but that doesn't make me like uh, you know the the Kofi Annan of the Middle East or whatever you know <laughs> uh, not at all I mean you move on we might do a love song or I might be in Karachi and be inspired by the local pawn shop and do a song about that, you know, so. <laughs> that would be a very lucky local pawn shop. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you I were inspired so. <laughs> by them. Um, but you, you have, uh, you know, your, your songs have been part of, as I was just uh, reading out as well, part of these events that, yeah. that do. So you do feel that there, that, that y there is a responsibility of course, that you have? Of course. We, uh, I mean, as musicians, you have a responsibility. I mean, uh, you put something out there, especially for the kids. They tend to say that uh, young kids, they, uh, they listen to mu musicians more than they do to politicians. So, I mean, we, we have a powerful tool in music, and you can use it for wrong, you can use it for something right. You know, I'm not saying that we're all angels or anything. Uh, but we have a responsibility and we try to live up to it. Uh, but in the end of the day, we let people know that we're just human beings. You know, we do mistakes and we do uh, fail and stuff like that. But, I mean, given the fact that we talk about the things we do, we are invited to a lot of these charity events. And uh, recently we did one in uh, New York, which is put together by Salman Ahmed of uh, Janoon and yes. uh, uh, Amin Hash uh, Hashmani. Um, they invited us to New York to perform in the U.S. Assembly Hall which was a great experience for us. I mean, uh, a lot of the great leaders and not so great leaders have been there <laughs> and held great speeches, speeches and not so great speeches. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 so being there and uh, performing your music is, is great. Plus, we're supporting a good cause, which was the refugees of Swat, uh, the Swat Valley. Um, and it was a good cause and we were there. So, of course, that's something we would do definitely. What kind of music do you make? I mean, uh, it's basically it uh, comes from hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, which started out in the US and let me just say it's not the type of hip-hop that you see in the mainstream Bollywood movies or, or something <laughs> like that I mean <laughs> because hip-hop uh, I mean uh, is not for us it's not a gimmick it's an art form like uh, any other art form uh, whether that be Kawali or Ghazal uh, hip-hop can be really deep and it can have a really strong message as well and um, uh, it's not so metaphorical it's more direct talk so if I feel bad I'll say that I feel bad and not talk about the Sun or or whatever um, 
and and of course we come I've come from Pakistan so there's a lot of Pakistani and Indian uh, the whole subcontinent uh, influences like my mother she didn't have Stevie Wonder or Miles Davis in her record collections she would have Lata Mangeshkar and she would have the soundtrack of Shole you know and Disco Dancer and, <laughs> and you know Abda Parveen and stuff so that's the type of music that inspired me but I grew up with hip-hop so I mixed those two worlds um, and that's the sound of outlandish you have Latin American music in there you have uh, Pakistani Indian music and Arabic music because so you have someone from Moroccan roots and exactly roots exactly and Pakistani so roots. I, I mean I wouldn't call it world music but it um, it's hip hop with a lot of different ethnical influences. What's what's uh, up ahead and what musically? What are you going to be doing? As we just released uh, like three, four months ago. We just released our uh, album, current album, Sound of a Rebel, and um, we are headed off. We just finished a tour in Denmark, um, and we're constantly touring. Uh, the seventh of November, we'll be in uh, Dubai performing uh, at a music festival. The day before, we'll be in Cairo. And uh, you never know, actually, I'm trying to set up a, a show here in, 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 in Pakistan uh, for Outlandish, the first show ever. You know? That'd be great. Yeah, and this is actually the officially the first TV interview ever given in Pakistan by Outlandish. Well, all right so then, you know, the making, for breakfast yeah. at dawn. Yeah, we, exactly. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, we, we're just trying to figure out how to, because we have a lot of fans in Pakistan. Yes. We get a lot of fan mails uh, from Pakistan on Twitter, on Facebook. You know, we just want to return that love uh, somehow by, by doing shows and, and showing our face around here, you know, so let's focus on that. <laughs> <my face. laughs> that's true. That's my camera, though. <laughs> okay, sorry. Can't mess with the camera. Right. Well, thanks so much for being on the program. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. That's for us. But if you have any comments for us, just email them in on our email address. It is breakfast at dawnnews.tv. And keep in mind that you can always watch us live on the internet on Dawn.com, no matter where in the world you may be. That's it from me, Naveen Nakvi, and the rest of the Breakfast at Dawn team. We will see you right here tomorrow morning, bright and early. Have a fabulous day.